Only on Six Tonight, how our local law enforcement has adapted to catching people who prey on kids over the Internet. Every day, a group of local detectives goes to work with the FBI at the FBI offices in Maitland to tackle this growing problem that on their own would be overwhelming. News 6's Eric Von Anken shows us how it is getting results together at least more than ever before. This is one sick dude right here. In a recent Facebook post from the Osceola County Sheriff, he details the arrest of John Draper after a tip came from NECMIC, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, where so many tips come from. And guess what? They find all kind of images, child pornography in his possession. But if the state prosecutes Draper or any other suspect accused of sex crimes against children, there's a limit on punishment. Not so under federal prosecution. The state may may only get one or two years that will get 15 to, to 30 or, or 60 years. Or 60. Yes. So this is what our local law enforcement agencies are doing about it. Working with the FBI on child sex crimes. Kevin Kaufman is an FBI agent here in Maitland, and Jennifer Wing is an Orlando police detective. So instead of me just working a case by myself, I'm now able to work six or seven cases at a time. Last year, she alone got some 400 tips from NECMIC. One of them, a man posing as a 15-year-old boy, tricking girls as young as nine to perform sex acts and then sharing the videos. So she took her case to the FBI. There is so many computers that are that are taken during search warrants or taken during arrest um, to have one person doing that it, it really uh, bogs that person down and joined the crimes against children task force a partnership with federal agents and detectives from Seminole County Osceola and Orange these sentencing guidelines on the state side are nowhere near as intense as they are on the federal side and this team got results together sending Todd Engels to prison for the next 50 years he's now at a high security US penitentiary in Arizona with a release date of 2063 I've investigated cases with seven-year-olds agent Kaufman says kids with more devices more time on the internet and less supervision equals more cases of sextortion predators tricking kids online and then threatening them if they don't keep up the sex acts and even more disturbing is the reality, he says, that as effective as this team is, they can't keep up. Uh, I would say you're putting a minor dent. I don't think you're putting any any great dent in, in the size of, uh, of predators online. The agents also regularly talk to parents and kids to tell them about exactly what they're dealing with. One of the things they say to moms and dads is, would you drop off your little child at a park and just drive off and yell out the window, hey, don't get in trouble, be careful and stay away from strangers. They say that's pretty much exactly what we're doing every time we give a kid a device and unlimited access to the Internet. In Maitland, Eric Von Aiken getting results together, News 6.